a light summary dish using all the best ingredients from Provence. So we start by preparing our sea bass fillet. Trim off the edges. Rub your finger along the red line in the middle of the fish. You just want to pluck the bones out. So we're just going to score the skin of the, of the fish. Get the fillet, pinch it in the middle, just with the middle of your knife. Slices all the way down the fillet. Dicing the courgettes nice and small. Dice our aubergine. And next we're going to dice, dice our pepper, similar size to our courgette and aubergine. Dice our banana shallot. Crush the garlic. Remove the skin. Chop it till it's nice and small. So we start by peeling the tomatoes. Remove the, uh, the tough skin. And we just want to remove the seeds. We're just going to dice up our tomato flesh. Then we pick our basil leaves. Just the leaves, not the stalks. And we're going to chop the basil, not, not too much. Basil is a very soft herb, so we don't want to, to over chop it. We just want to slice through. So with the point of your knife on the board, you slice through. Start with a nice plug of olive oil. We add the shallot, a pinch of salt. Then we add the garlic. Cook that for 30 seconds or so. We don't want to burn the garlic. If you burn garlic, it goes bitter. Next, we're going to add the aubergine. Just going to cook that till it starts to go nice and soft. About a couple of minutes, maybe. Next, we add our courgette. Again, cook it for a minute or so, just to soften it up. A little bit more oil if it needs it. The aubergine tends to absorb the oil, so don't be, don't be afraid to add a bit more oil. Nice pinch of salt again. Then we have the red peppers. Again, we're just cooking these for a couple of minutes until they're, they're soft, beginning to soften up. Black pepper. Tomato puree goes in next. Next the tomatoes. And finally, our fresh herbs. Lots of basil. Then we finish cooking with the lid on, just for three or four minutes until the vegetables are nice and soft. To cook your sea bass, take some sea salt, season both sides of the fish. So in a non-stick frying pan, nice drizzle of olive oil. And then we want the skin to go nice, nice and crispy. So we add it to the pan, skin side down. Nice sizzle. And the fish will naturally curve up away from the heat. So just give it a little press, just to make sure that the middle of the, of the fish is in contact with the pan and that piece of skin will go nice and crispy. So what we're looking for is just the edges of the edges of the fish just to start to go golden brown. So we turn the fish over, nice and crispy. And we're going to transfer to our baking sheet. So we take our black olive tapenade, just a teaspoon or so, just a smear on the fish. We transfer to our, to our oven, 180 degrees, about two or three minutes just to finish cooking. So to plate up your ratatouille, use one of these rings just to uh, neaten up your presentation. Then remove the ring, lift up your sea bass fillet, place it on top. There we have all the flavours of Provence on a plate.